Hey music friends, welcome to Life Prague. In today's video we are going to visit a band or a project from Down Under, from Australia. And it has something to do with a palindrome, so let's check it out. Friends, I am Marcel Hoster, your host, and in this video I have for you the Ben Cameron Project Tipping Point. Ben Cameron is part of the Australian prog metal band Aronora. And yes, that is a palindrome because you can, you know, read it any way you like. Um, that band was formed in 2008 and I checked out some samples on their website and on the Bandcamp page and I found out that they are a little bit in the heavier segment and Ben Cameron wanted to find an outlet for his more classic prog kind of feelings and kind of music that he wanted to go out and therefore he just started his own project called The Ben Cameron Project and this is the debut album of this band. And this band consists of two members. No surprise, we have Ben Cameron. Hey, he's a part of it. On vocals, guitars, bass and keyboards. So he is a multi-instrumentalist. And you'll never guess it, the second member of the band is Chris Cameron on drums and percussion. And Ben and Chris are brothers. So they are working together. And the interesting thing is, if you look up Aronora, the lineup of that band, you'll find that also Chris Cameron is a part of that band. So basically, half of Aronora decided to do something different from what they usually do, and that became this album, Tipping Point. Now, one of the things I noticed is the rear, the track listing. I hope you can see it. We have two tracks on this album, two long tracks divided into kind of, you know, different chapters that tell the story of this album, because this album is a concept story, and initially, when I saw this, I inevitably I thought, you know, something like Tubular Bells, where you also have two lengthy tracks. But of course, this is not Mike Oldfield, this is Ben Cameron, and this is completely different music. Although there might be some influences here and there, because of course, every musician is inspired. And also Ben Cameron mentioned several influences uh, on his Facebook page, on his website, that inspired him. But I have to be honest, when I was listening to the album, I didn't really hear these influences uh, stand out in any way and I think that is good because then he created his own sound and that is something I definitely enjoy about this album. The story that Ben Cameron tells on the album is about the struggle of a man with things like anxiety, depression and bipolar disorders. Mental disorders and not the nicest ones. Uh, for that reason I, I found it interesting how that uh, that would come out in the music because we only have two songs um, the first track is part one is 21 minutes. The second part, uh, part two, is about 18 minutes. It is just under 40 minutes of music. But when you listen to the music that these two guys bring on this album, you hear that it kind of moves from dark, melancholic, sometimes a little bit eerie, into more lighter parts. And that is, of course, how people with those... Um, uh, disorders sometimes feel. I mean, it's not that they are all dark and that's all bad, but sometimes they have these moments where they feel a little bit better, where they can see a little bit more positive things, and that shines in the music. So for that reason I say, okay, in that way they really manage to capture these emotions and translate them into the music. That is something I definitely like. I think that they've done it very well here. Musically also, it was a very interesting album to listen to. It starts off very proggy, with nice keyboards in it, with nice guitars in it. Uh, and along the way, they really show that they are good songwriters, or at least Ben Cameron, because it is his music. That he is a very good songwriter, because uh, even though we have two lengthy tracks, he really manages to keep the interest of the listener. I mean, he kept me listening to it, and uh, I listened repeatedly to this album. And I must say, every time that I listened, I heard other things come out in the music, and other influences, and other emotions that I picked up while listening. So in that way, uh, songwriting wise, I think he's done a very good job creating a very entertaining album that people will definitely enjoy listening to. The music has a little bit of an edge, 
uh, my initial thoughts were like, okay, there, well, there must be room for some uh, improvement in the production phase. But then again, I decided, no, I don't think so, because uh, the production fits the sound and the emotions that the album radiates. So in that way, I, I say he did a good job on that, because um, if you're gonna really polish off all this music, you might lose the sentiments and the feelings that he wants to try to convey through the story and the music. So for that reason, it is nice that the production uh, is, is also reflecting these emotions and not being completely picture perfect, but really uh, going for the emotional side. So in that case, again, something I definitely enjoyed about this album. musicians they are also very good uh, as I said you know Ben Cameron does the majority of instruments on this album and he does them very well if I listen to the guitars on the album I hear a variety of guitar sounds I hear uh, nice melodic parts in it I hear some crunchy parts in it I mean there are some heavier moments in the album there are also some acoustic moments in the album we have some acoustic guitars uh, they all sound very nice it's all definitely well done we definitely have a, a well two very experienced musicians here also the drums Chris Cameron can definitely play a fantastic groove when you listen to the drum work on the album it is very enjoyable I really liked it very much and as I said they really bring the groove out of the music and and make sure that uh, all together tipping point is a very entertaining album an album that you know you can really enjoy listening to um, also, in the keyboard department, there are some, some things that I picked up, um, especially some organ sounds. I really enjoy that very much. Uh, it is not the standard progressive rock that I would expect. I mean, it's not groundbreaking music, but at the same time, it does stand out that it doesn't really sound like anyone else. It really uh, stands on its own a little bit, and I think that is very important to come up with original music that really shows, you know, you are a good writer. You don't need others you know to depend on for their sound now you can really create your own sound he did that very well with this album uh, i only heard bits and pieces of aronora so i don't know i only heard that it was a little bit heavier uh, i don't know in what way that stands out because that band was really new for me and i have to be honest the only way that i discovered that he was part of that band was that i found an interview sort of an interview with ben cameron on the lady obscure page where he mentioned it and that's why I started to look for it because on his Facebook page and everything I couldn't find a reference to that but it might be interesting to check that out because I understood that that band might be working on an album as well so it might be interesting uh, to hear that music as well and see how it differs from what he does on this album. The vocals that's the last thing I wanted to say the vocals are definitely very good uh, but it has to be your taste a little bit I mean I, I didn't particularly became enthusiastic about the vocals but they definitely do fit the whole atmosphere of the of the album um, and atmosphere wise there was one thing that I, I, I was listening to the album and I thought you know that th this atmosphere reminds me of something and it took me a while to get it but then at a certain point I thought okay I got it uh, Tommy by The Who. I mean that is also uh, an interesting story and there you also have some different atmospheres that the band creates and I found similar atmospheres hidden in the music of the Ben Cameron project which I thought was very nice so that's a nice touch you know and uh, again you know if you listen you might hear completely different things uh, that is the nice thing about music we can all give our own interpretation to what we hear uh, and we all listen to music in a different way for that reason uh, the video you're watching is simply my opinion about this album, uh, the way I experienced listening to this album. But I gotta say, it was a very pleasant uh, experience, a very pleasant, you know, ride to listen to this album, even though it's not that long, but in a way, um, it didn't feel long. I mean, you have long tracks, 20 minutes, 18 minutes, but they didn't feel like that. And again, that is a sign of a good writing, because then it is not boring. And uh, there's a chance, you know, with your longer tracks that 
at a certain point you think, okay, you know, get a move on it, let's move on to the next track or something. But in this case, I didn't have it. It was more like, okay, the album's done already. Is it, is it already 40 minutes? Wow, you know, that kind of thing she got. So altogether, this Tipping Point from the Ben Cameron Project is a very enjoyable album. I would say check it out. I definitely give this album a 7. And I'm very curious uh, what's going to happen next if we will see an Aronora album and if we see more music coming out from the Ben Cameron Project in the near future. But, well, time will tell. Alright, well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can click on like or share. You can click on subscribe. And of course, uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And remember, every Tuesday and every Friday, new videos here on Live Prague.